Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to see the example of JSP programs. And in the theory exams of JSP, that is under the web engineering course, the question which is commonly asked is create a JSP page that reads data from HTML form. So in this program, we are going to see two different examples. One is a simple JSP page and another is a JSP page that will read data from the HTML form. So now let's start with a simple JSP page that how you can create a simple JSP page. So to create a simple JSP page, first you have to write the HTML part. So start writing the HTML. That is your HTML tag. Then you will <coughs> have your head tag. In the title, we can give any uh, values like simple JSP and then close this title tag and the head tag. So up till now, this is a very simple HTML code that I have written that contains simple HTML head and title tag. Now in the body section, this is your body section. In this body section, I will write my JSP tag. And for that, the different scriptlet tags that we have discussed in the previous video will be used. So to start with the JSP part, you have to create a tag like this, brackets, then percentage. So that means now you are writing a Java code inside the HTML. And to close that part, you have to write it like this percentage brackets close. In between this, you will write your Java code. Then you can close your body and the HTML. Now, let's see what you can write between this part. You can simply write it like this out dot print ln. out dot print ln and you can write any thing like this JSP. So it is exactly same as the servlet part which we have seen in the in the servlet part also we are using this same function. So same function can be used inside the HTML part also. So in this way you can write your Java code and any Java code that you want to write, you can write over here. So this page will be saved as any name, for example, a1.jsp. And if you run this a1.jsp file over the server, you will find out that your Java code will be compiled into a servlet and the output will be <coughs> displayed to you. So this is a simple JSP page in which we have used this HTML part and then the scriptlet tags to insert the Java code in the HTML part. So we are inserting Java code in HTML. So that is your basic simple JSP page. Now let's see how you can create a JSP page that will read data from an HTML form. So now let's start with the main part which is commonly asked in the exams is to create a JSP page that will read the data from HTML form. So first we will create an HTML form and then the JSP page that will be read the data from the HTML form. So now let's start with the HTML form. In the HTML form you have to create basic tags like HTML, head, title. You can have this tags. <clears throat> then create the body tag. And in the body tag, you have to create a form tag that will contain the form elements. And the method that I am using is to pass the values to the JSP page is post. You can use get method also. And the action is in the action you have to pass the name of the JSP file that you want to call. For example, the name of the JSP file is 
फॉर्म डॉट जे एस पी सो दिस फाइल विल बी कॉल्ड ऑन द क्लिक ऑफ ए सबमिट बटन विद द मैथड पोस्ट एंड द पैरामीटर डेट आर डिफाइंड इन दिस फॉर्म द वैल्यूज विल बी पास टू दिस पर्टिकुलर जे एस पी फाइल नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट सम एलिमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव क्रिएटिंग इनपुट टाइप इज इक्वल्स टू टेक्स्ट एंड द नेम इज फर्स्ट नेम फॉर एफ अंडर स्कोर नेम सो दिस इज द इनपुट एलिमेंट ऑफ टाइप टेक्स्ट एंड द वेरिएबल नेम इज एफ अंडर स्कोर नेम देन क्रिएट वन सबमिट बटन सो इनपुट टाइप इज इक्वल्स टू सबमिट एंड गिव एनी वैल्यू टू दिस पर्टिकुलर बटन और फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लिक एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव द नेम टू ए बटन बी वन सो दैट इज योर फॉर्म दिस इज द complete html file that i have created for example the name of the file is index.html so when you run this file on the server you will see an output like this a text field will be there and one button will be there with the label click so now the uh, problem is whatever value you, you enter in this text field and press the button click this value should be passed to a jsp page and in that jsp page we should be able to read this text field value so for that we have using this method post and the action is form.jsp that means when i click this button the value inside this text field will be passed to this jsp page which is form.jsp and the method that is used to pass the value is post so now we will see how to create a jsp page so the code for the jsp page should be like this so we are creating a page with the name form.jsp this is the file name of the jsp page and i am skipping the part of html so i am uh, writing directly from the body part up till the body part you can write simple html code like this so now inside the body part we have to use percentage equals to because we are writing an expression a java expression to fetch the values of parameters so the expression is like this request dot get parameter request dot get parameter and the parameter name is f underscore name so right here f underscore name and complete the expression so that is your simple jsp code which you have to write a simple expression which is request dot get parameter and the parameter name should be same as the parameter name we are given we have given in the html so these should be same now if you remember the servlet part in the servlet part also we have used the same function the uh, beauty of the jsp is you do not have to define any method like do get do post which you are defining in the servlet part you do not have to define the request object you just simply have to write an expression and upon compilation of this jsp into servlet all the remaining parts will be added automatically so that is how you can read simply the uh, form values inside the jsp page thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials on jsp and other computer science related subjects thank you